Okay, so the lights aren't so that bugs them, but I wanted to see if they could eat together, how they would do. Uh, because she's very food motivated, and he's a much slower eater. So, um, tonight I moved back out into the pens, and actually it went better, I thought. Um, I swear she groomed him just a little bit. Um, I think part of the problem is that she's a little bit more energetic than him, I guess is the way to put it. We don't really know how old he is. I mean, we think he's four years old. We think she is too. But um, he may be closer to five. And um, he just kind of wants to hang out and relax and sleep. And she wants to be more energetic and do things. And um, so I think sometimes that causes problems because she's like, come do something with me. And he's like, no, I just want to sleep. But I, I felt a lot better about their interactions tonight so far. It's still early, but um, I wanted to see about the eating together, how that would go. I, I wish I would have caught her grooming him just a little bit, because it sure seemed like that's what she did, that she groomed him just a little bit before she tried to hump him, and of course he ran away. So I'm thinking it's definitely worth continuing. That's what I was wondering, is if she would be aggressive with him on the food, and she's not. So, I was a little bit worried about that and wanted to check it out and make sure that she was going to let him eat. And she did. Pellets, pellets might be a different story. She might, she might scarf down all the pellets before he gets a chance to get any because he likes to eat a little, relax, eat a little, relax, and she likes to just chomp it down. So, that's something to keep an eye on. So, I am really feeling a lot better and feel like we can continue this progress and if it takes us into a third week well so be it we'll do it I think it's worth it because I don't think that I don't think that it's going to be a situation of moving backwards at this point I think it's just moving forwards of course it's still still only Monday still only week two so oh this is the type of tunnel that I use and it's probably a little bit smaller for her. Um, you can get them at Petco, but you can also buy the sauna too. You know, I'm guessing, I didn't measure it, but that's probably about a 12-inch tunnel. Um, and they both really like going in and out of there. And you can, this one's, it, it, it does a different shape, and you can collapse it to be smaller. That's fully extended. You can also make a right angle out of it. So um, I bought it at PetSmart. They sell them there. Probably sell them at other pet stores too, at Petco or whatever online. But you can also buy a piece of sauna tube, and that's something they can also chew on. That's a little bit less destructive than all the chewing this tunnel has gotten. That wasn't them. They didn't chew on that. Um, you can see their litter box skills. And the pee goes in the box, but we're still working on the poops, huh, guys? Um, but this is way better than it was last week. So hopefully when they get in a new home and relax a little bit. Okay, buddy, I was just touching your butt. That you might have a better routine. So a little better tonight. Oh, let's see what happens here. Nothing. Okay. Well, that's better than something bad, isn't it, girl? Yeah. Instead of going with the smaller area, this is actually a little bit bigger area and a little bit more familiar for both of them, so uh, a little change of plans there. <laughs>